you for joining me again. I want to talk to you today about the holidays. Um, while for a lot of people it's a time to look forward to spending with friends and family, if you're alone or if you've lost someone, a family member, or gone through a recent breakup or even just live far away from your family and can't get back to them for the holiday, it can be a really sad time and a time that people suffer with depression. And so I just want to take this time and say if you're spending the holiday alone, I would like to give you some tips that might help you make it through the day and possibly here and there through the weeks to come through the holiday season. So my first thing that I would like to suggest is to make a plan for the day. A lot of times whenever I'm depressed or even just sad about something, my go-to if I just follow what I want to do is to crawl back in that bed, pull those covers over my head, usually turn HTTV on very low, and just drift in and out of whatever home improvement or, or real estate show is on. Um, and, and that is what I'll do if I just don't take time to plan. But if I plan something, and it's very important for me, maybe not everybody, to actually put times in a list with my things that I want to plan for the day. So the first thing after you think about your plan is to prioritize. Um, just take time to think about the things that you enjoy doing or maybe some kind of pampering thing that you just don't take time to do for yourself. Um, and just put them in a list by priority. You don't have to do them in the list of priority. This is just something to make sure that you sit down and really think about the things that could make this a day that's special for you. So some of the things that I like to do, I love to write and that's probably always going to be pretty close to the top of my list of if I could do anything with this day, what would I really like to do? And uh, you know, I started a novel a few years ago, but I've only finished it about halfway and to be completely honest, I wrote all of that. Uh, probably 90% of it in about three weeks where I was you know just somewhere where I could concentrate on writing and so I just always find other reasons I find reasons that I can't write like you know laundry keeping the house work done cooking working and so if I had a day that I could just do whatever I wanted, it would be pretty high on my priority list. So I would be sure to schedule that in. And if you like to do whatever this thing is, first thing in the morning, schedule it early. Schedule it later in the day if you feel like you work better, you know, in the afternoon or whatever. Just prioritize it, specialize it, customize it to whatever works for you. Um, so I would also like to encourage you, do something to pamper yourself. You know, those expensive bath salts or face masks that you've been not using, waiting for a special occasion or whatever, get them out and use them. Just enjoy it. Just, you know, have some luxury. You deserve it. It'll be nice. It'll make it special. So that, that's one thing that I would suggest for everybody. Just do something to pamper yourself. Paint your nails, whatever. Um, another thing that I would like to suggest, and, and this might help more if you actually, you know, are depressed or having a hard time with something about being alone. 
um, I would time myself, but I would put a block of time, like an hour or half an hour, and I would get on Pinterest and I would search words like encouraging or support or motivational, just whatever you think you need, like you're lacking or what's missing or maybe just something that you need that you you know will be a pick-me-up to you and if you're a crafting sort of person maybe you know draw something around one of these quotes or print it off and put it on your refrigerator your mirror just somewhere where it'll keep you on track of where you want to be uh, just thought I'd try that. It didn't really help much. Um, another thing that I would like to encourage you to do is go to BibleGateway.com and kind of do the same thing, but look for Bible verses that would pertain to anything that's going on in your life or what you're feeling and be encouraged through that. And if you, you know, find a passage that speaks to you, I would encourage you to spend some time there and maybe spend some time in prayer, uh, just asking God to lead you to what he would like you to read or see or find. And uh, just spend some time there because God can always be a comfort to you when you're having a rough time or feeling lonely. Uh, the next thing I think is really enjoyable and that would be to plan a time to have like a movie date and just I would pick up a new movie I wouldn't go with an old movie just for the simple fact that it might bring back memories it might make you sad overall it might remind you of someone that maybe isn't here or you know that you broke up with or whatever but I would find something new and make it a new experience just for you. Just something you'll enjoy. And be sure and pick up your favorite candy that makes it a movie experience for you. And of course, popcorn. Get a cozy blanket. You know, spend some time creating your atmosphere there on the couch or wherever. But I would encourage you to time this also. Just because it's so easy to let all the time pass and your mind wander and everything, I would turn the TV on, watch the movie, turn the TV off, move to the next thing. And I'm not saying that you have to schedule every minute of the day, but just have enough parts of the day scheduled that you can stay on task and you can enjoy the time that you have instead of feeling like it's never going to be over with. Um, another thing I would say is take a nap. And again, just speaking from my own experience, but time it. Um, I think like 20 or 30 minutes. You want it to feel like a luxurious, oh, pampering almost kind of thing not something that you know you're just going to pull the covers over your head and wait for the day to pass so you know take a nap but make it short make it where it's just going to be refreshing and pampering and luxurious and then get up and go on to something else um, the last thing that I'm really thinking about is you know that food that you like or that treat or that delicacy or you know some gourmet hot chocolate or something whatever is your go-to well not your go-to but something that you just love but you usually don't allow yourself to have you know what it is everybody's got one it costs a little bit more than you want to spend or it's got too many calories you don't want to you know overdo it this is the time to do it get whatever it is or make it turn your music on you know down low light some candles turn the 
you know, don't have the TV on, anything like that. Create a true experience where you can savor and enjoy every single bite of whatever it is. Um, it's, it's nice. It's just nice to do something like that for yourself and enjoy it. And, oh, and I, I shouldn't have to say this, but no calories count, no guilt, nothing. Just enjoy it. Um, I just, uh, I hope that these help and I hope whether you use them on Thanksgiving or another day that, you know, maybe there was something else you wanted to be doing and it didn't work out for whatever reason. Um, I just hope that you have a good day on Thanksgiving, that you do some of these things, that they help you, that you're encouraged and motivated throughout the day and that you count the time as a special gift for you and not as a bad thing that you have to be together be alone on that day and I will talk to you again next week and until then be safe be well and I'll see you later bye